The St. Paul Public Library is officially going to close the Hamlin Midway branch at the end of the month. It will be demolished and a new one will be built in its place. For the city, it's all part of this plan to transform several libraries. But for other pieces, this is a piece people. This is a piece of history that they just want preserved. Jennifer Hoff looks at where things go from here. The Hamlin Midway Library has long sat at Minnehaha and Snelling in St. Paul. The 92 year old library, the original brainchild of entrepreneur Henry Hale. Funding for it even included in his last will and testament, a storied building Barbara Bazat has long been studying. It comes together as this great story and history of activism within the community. An architectural archivist, she started holding particular passion for it when the city announced several years ago it would transform the library and two others to make them more accessible, even successfully fighting to put it on the National Register of Historic Places just three months ago. A distinction, though, that doesn't protect it from demolition. Just because the plumbing is bad in your building, you don't burn it down. Just because your grandmother is old, you don't put her out in the street. Bazat says thousands of people signed a petition to fight its demise that will happen after the library closes, officially now on May 28th. The mayor and the library's interim director adamant about plans to replace it after months of engagement efforts within the community. They wanted more places to play and read with their children. They wanted more meeting rooms that are accessible to the public. They wanted an entrance that everybody can come through. The new library will be nearly 11,000 square feet. Pictures show a one-story layout with a children's area, outdoor garden, and study rooms. An overall design, Hartman says, reflects neighborhood cultures, while preserving the original stone archway, bricks, and mosaic, and incorporating them in a new way. What is it about this space, though? It certainly holds a lot of history with it, and so folks who think that maybe they're losing that a little bit, what would you say to them? I hear that, right? And I think we're entirely focused on delivering what the community has asked for, and the community asks for more services that cannot be contained in this space. So I think some of those arguments are simply don't wash when you think about the reality of historic preservation and renovation. Bazat says the structure is sound and admits standard maintenance is needed, adding several historic Carnegie libraries were restored, not torn down in Hennepin County, adding the fight to save this one in St. Paul isn't over yet. I see this as, I was going to say a bump in the road, but maybe we can just equate it to some of St. Paul's streets right now. <laughs> there are a lot of potholes ahead of us, but they'll be fixed. In St. Paul, Jennifer Hoff, Care 11 News. I like that analogy. The St. Paul Public Library did get $8 million in funding through the city's capital investment budget process. And this is still going through an environmental review process. And then there's 30 days of public comment where you can voice your opinion on the future of the library. Should be pretty interesting.